Hey folks, it's Ray, DCRamRecord.com here, and taking a bit of a different video. I'm going to show you how the new Sunto 7 uh, course routing bits work on the Sunto 7, uh, but I'm going to do it sort of vlog style. Uh, I'm doing it on my phone, so not all my usual camera gear, so the audio might not be quite as spot on, but it's frankly just easier when I'm going to be climbing like a couple thousand meters. So I'm basically at the base here of Zhongfrau, where the Zhongfrau Marathon is. So you can see the sign right up there. Uh, and I'm pretty much going to follow the marathon track from this point forward. So at this juncture, they were already done about 25 kilometers. I don't see any kilometer markers on the ground right here, but there's somewhere on the corner there. Sorry about the helicopter. They're doing something up there. Um, so circling stuff around and whatnot. But if you can hear that, I apologize for that. Uh, but I kind of want to walk through how this all works. Now, what I did first this morning and last night is I attempted to do offline maps of the area. Uh, I say attempted because just like my review way back earlier this year, that's a bit of a pain in the butt. I tried numerous times. I plugged it in, the Wi-Fi, the charger, two different Wi-Fi networks, all that kind of fun stuff, and no luck at all downloading offline. But I've got my Wi-Fi hotspot phone in my backpack, and I've got my regular phone as well. So uh, I'll still have maps, and I do have maps, just not the downloaded offline ones like it should normally work. Okay, in addition to that, I went ahead and created a route using Sunto's app uh, in the new like popularity routing. It actually worked pretty darn well for what I wanted to. It easily saw the gigantic bright highlights of the marathon route right here, so no problems at all there. Uh, and just basically follow the route all the way up. I did skip one section that was like an out and back, basically just a adding extra distance for the fun of it um, because I don't really need to add extra distance. Uh, in any case, let me show you what I've got on the watch itself. Okay, so here is the Sinta 7 on the main home screen. You can see it's got the uh, heat map, you know, watch face, easily the most beautiful watch face of any wearable out there. Uh, and if I go and press this upper right hand button right there, it opens up the Sunto app. Uh, in my case, I've got the Zhengfrau trail run, so 13.6K I guess is the ultimate, uh, what I end up here on the, the Sunto app. Uh, and you can see the route there. So 13.6K, uh, the overall route um, overview. You can't do anything else. Like I can't click on this to like, I can deselect it of course, but I can't click on that to see like an elevation profile or anything like that. Uh, for power, power saving type of stuff, I got location accuracy as best. Uh, and then if I go on down here, uh, exercise options here, just again, tones, vibrations, kind of, I mean, it's very, very basic stuff. Uh, and then map options. Here is where I have the uh, route selected. My outdoor map style is, or sorry, map style is simply outdoor. And then that download pending, it's still trying. One of these days it, it might do that, but uh, today is apparently not that day. So once all this is set and done, uh, I'm going to get GPS here and it's going to find that again. I've got it a couple times this morning, but um, as you can imagine, there we go. Uh, it's I'm basically in this gigantic valley right here. So GPS is tricky at first. Uh, and I found almost all the units here took, uh, I would say, about like two to three minutes to find it the first time, which is a pretty long time for GPS. But this is what I've seen. You know, that was the Garmin, the Polar, uh, all the stuff all the same there. So uh, no worries on that. And then at this point, I would simply click on start. So I will do that now. I don't know why I just press the button, it's just easier. And we can see here I'm back on route, so that's good. And if I just swipe left, there's my laps. There's the map, so let that render out. There we go, and you can see where I am. Uh, I think technically the route started at the bottom of the hill there, um, but let's see where it started. Yep, started just at the bottom of the hill. And you can see the heading indicator right there of the direction I should go, that little uh, red dot right there, as well as the elevation remaining at 1,542 meters to go. So uh, that's for American folks, that's about 4,500 feet of elevation gain. Uh, and if I swipe up from the bottom there, I can see my uh, trail route. There we go. And go back to get that out of there, get that out of there. Uh, and then swipe again to my other data fields, heart rate, pace, and so on. So I'll get started and I'll kind of catch up a little bit later on up the hill. Okay, now it's often the case in the Alps, uh, the trails don't usually start at the base of the valley straight up. They often go on these small little roads where people live. As you can see, there's farmhouses and stuff like that around here. And then the trail will finally start properly Copy right there, I think. Okay, so looking at the watch itself, you can see the road goes off to the left there, um, kind of where it's facing, uh, where that little heading bug is facing. Uh, and then off to the right is a blue trail, and then the red portions were already gone. Uh, you can see Grandma is up there beating me, but props to Grandma. She's, uh, she's rocking a pretty steep trail. I know it doesn't really look steep until you look how much elevation I've gained in the last, like, couple hundred meters of, of hiking. So uh, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and go in up this hill, up the trail now, and uh, I'll catch you maybe halfway up this particular climb. That's the easy way to get to the top. Though I will, to be honest, take that down because I've got a few more days here and 
if I try to run down or whatever, it'll completely obliterate my legs. That's the thing with trail running or hiking or whatever, in this case, is that it's rarely going up, at least for me, that does my legs in. It's the coming down that kills you. So I'll take that down for today. And then uh, my last run all of the week, I'll go ahead and I'll run on down, but not right now. Okay, so cruising through here. I uh, cleared the first main climb, major climb. Average gradient there was about 18%. Came, popped out of that town over there. See right there, Wingen. I have been cruising up uh, these kind of gravelly dirt road right now. Eventually we'll get to just straight up trails here, but first we gotta kind of clear some of those small towns area. Uh, Sunto 7 is doing good. Staying on path. Got 9.2K left and uh, says I've got about 870 meters remaining to climb. So uh, in fact, there's an auto lap right there. So fourth kilometer just went through. Uh, you know, one obvious downside at this point is there's no elevation profile shown on this. Uh, so I know it's, I've climbed left, but not what's coming up or I'm mostly hiking this route, most because we've got a beastly amount of camera gear in that backpack back there, uh, and it's pretty darn heavy. But there are sections where I am trail running, or running the best I can anyways. So usually when it's not 22% grade or something like that, I just want to give it a whirl like this. I mean, how awesome is that? You can hear the cows off in the distance somewhere. At some point this trail will go through the cows, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can see way over there, up there-ish, uh, folks are skydiving, parachuting. Never quite get it right. Uh, they're jumping off the side of the mountain and hoping parachutes open up. Uh, way over there. So just a minor FYI that uh, I did seem to go off course briefly here. The official signposting for the Jungfrau Marathon uh, showed me going kind of the left switch box then right again versus a little trail right down there. Uh, so the trail is where I happen to build my route in the Sunto app from. So you can see that blue line versus the red line is where I'm going right now. Uh, back a moment ago, it actually showed me the distance to the trail. It showed like 43 meters or wherever. You can see it just down there in the, the woods. Um, but it didn't seem to notify me at any point that I got off trail or off course. So I'll try that again up higher on and see if I'll purposely go off trail and go find a cow or something to visit and uh, see if it notifies me then. But something to kind of keep in mind. So no off course warning. Just letting you know straight up isn't happening. Down there, right there, is where I went the wrong way. All the way up the trunk of this hill and uh, nope, didn't tell me. So that's where you go. And that's where the watch tells me it's supposed to, I'm supposed to go as well. It just, it didn't tell me I missed the turn. So kind of a little bit of a bummer, but hopefully it's something that can iterate over time. Um, on the bright side, there's cows. So that's something. So quick update for the future here on the off course notifications. I asked Sunto, I said, hey, what's the deal? Is this normal? And they said, not normal. They said, I should be receiving off course notifications. Uh, I didn't on multiple occasions. I never received a single one. I did get on the screen showing that I was off course, but I had not get an alert for it. And they said that I should also be getting an alert for it. They seem pretty confident that it should work. So hopefully it works for you. Uh, but for me, not so much. There we go. That's a nice trail now. I like this for the rest of the way up. Shows me about 500 meters still of a uh, elevation gain. I'm sorry, 390 meters elevation gain, uh, and about 3.6, 3.7 kilometers left. Um, so means it's gonna be hopefully trail the rest of the way up. Uh, I think I'm off all the like various kind of larger paths and things like that. But again, I can't complain about the view up here. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice deal. Haven't quite decided how I'm gonna get down yet, actually. So I just said train, but I might run a little ways to a gondola chair thing that will take me back down. Um, or I might just end up running all the way down. I don't, the reason why I don't wanna run all the way down is because I wanna go mountain biking this afternoon uh, onto the other mountain on the other side. I can't see if where I am right now, but uh, if I do that, then I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and kill my legs. Uh, so, the only reason why. So, quick observation on the Jungfrau Marathon in case you're ever planning on doing it. First 25k, effectively flat. It basically starts 
off down by the lake and rolls its way into the valley and then gets yourself to where I started. Then, then you want to punch yourself in the somewhere because it goes essentially straight up. Um, so you gain 1500 meters, or sorry, 1500 feet of elevation, 500 meters of elevation uh, in a very, very short time frame. It took me about 40 minutes to do that next chunk. And then it's not too bad. It's that, that chunk, that first chunk there, or that middle chunk, whatever you want to call it, 18% average gradient. And then from there, you're about 10% average gradient on mostly like fire roads and stuff. And it wasn't too bad. I was cruising along, just enjoying my day here. And then, then this happens. That squiggly with people are right there. And all the way up that you can't see here over the top in this grass. And this is like the last couple kilometers. And this is where if you could jump off the side, you might. You really can't though, like you just roll down the hill and that'd just be more painful and wouldn't get it over with. So this is showing me 20% average gradient, including the last little bit where I was definitely like 10%. So I think at this point, this is probably 25 to 30% gradient up this little thing. And you know, by itself, like I'm doing today, it's not horrible, but when your last couple kilometers, last mile or two of the marathon, that's just brutal. Not gonna lie. Central Seven's doing fine. It's chugging its way up. So let's get to the top and talk more there. Okay, so here I am at the top, uh, finish things up. I've got a couple hundred meters left to go down to the uh, train tram stuff area, see what I, my decision for the way home will be. Um, but I mean, just it's pretty astounding up here. It's the uh, tram track going up and then it goes up into the top of the mountain and somehow pops up the top there. And then of course this lake here, I mean, it's just, just uh, one of the best places in the Alps. It's just so pretty touristy at certain times of the year, but uh, here in September, it's, it's honestly pretty much desolate so it's not bad as far as the Cinto 7 goes um you know it worked it worked as i expected uh, for the most part it's not super advanced i guess that's the thing you got to kind of keep in mind that it's a very 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 basic implementation of basically a breadcrumb trail there's no like turn left turn right type of stuff or anything like that or off course routing um, but it does show your courses and it does show them uh, at least for the ones from the Cinto app uh, that you get into that app and it syncs to the watch so uh, it's a good start i think i'd really like to see them kind of advance a little more in terms of like elevation profiles and stuff like that but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a good start and it's, it's uh, made for a nice hike, so I can't complain too much. With that, I hope you found this interesting. If so, whack that like button at the bottom there. It really helps with this channel and the video quite a bit.